Welcome back, everyone. In this lesson, we're going to learn our K and G katakana. Our first K katakana is ka. Ka. To write this katakana, we start out with a horizontal line going from left to right, then we stop, come down and from right to left, and then come slightly up from right to left. And for our second stroke, we come down and right to left, intersecting with our first stroke, and then we curve out a little bit more to the left at the end. Our next katakana is ki. Ki. We start off with a short slanted line going from left to right and bottom to top. For our second stroke, we have a second slanted line beneath the first, also going from left to right and bottom to top. Then we have one more line going from left to right and top to bottom that intersects with our first two strokes. Our next katakana is ku, ku. To write this katakana, our first stroke is a slightly curved line coming from top to bottom and right to left. Our second stroke starts a little above the center of the first stroke. From there, we go from left to right, then we stop and come down in a curved line moving out to the left side. And our next katakana is K. K. Our first stroke is a slightly curved line going from top to bottom and right to left. Our second stroke starts around the center of our first stroke and we just have a horizontal line going from left to right. And finally, in the center of our second stroke, we have one more stroke that goes from top to bottom and right to left with a slight curve. Our last K katakana is ko. Ko. To write this katakana, we start out going from left to right, then we stop and come down going slightly to the left. Our second stroke is another horizontal line going from left to right, and it finishes at the end of our first stroke. All right, everyone. So now that we've learned our K katakana, we can move on to our G katakana. Now you'll remember from our hiragana lesson that our G hiragana were just our K hiragana with our nigori or dakuten diacritic mark at the upper right of each of them. And our G katakana are going to work exactly the same way. It's just going to be our K katakana with our nigori or dakuten added to the upper right. So first we have ga, ga, gi, gi, gu, gu, ge, ge, go, go. So now that we've learned our katakana for the day, we can move on to our practice. Now you know how this works. I'm going to show you a word and you are going to figure out how to write it in katakana. Our first word is keiki, which means cake. Keiki. So to write this one, we have ke. We have our long dash to indicate a long vowel sound. And then ki, ke ki. Next, ega, which means eager, uh, the name of a British racehorse. I chose this one because I think most of the time Japanese people don't use the English word eager in their language, but they do use the katakana word ega to talk about the British racehorse who was named eager. So there you go. So we have e long dash, ga, and another long dash, iga. Kuki, which means cookie. Kuki. Ku, long dash, ki, long dash, kuki. And our last word, egoa, which is a Spanish name, egoa. E, 
go and a ego a And that is it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to learn our S and J katakana. Ja, mata.